previous videos, we've discussed your allowable buildable area based upon your zoning setback lines, as well as environmental setback lines and percentage of lot coverage. If we were to combine all of these, it would give us a true showing of what your actual allowable buildable area is. In this video, I will discuss and conclude the last factors that may affect your buildable area. In certain subdivisions, you may find covenants that dictate certain things within your subdivision. For example, this is your buildable area highlighted in yellow. You may say that I can build anything I want in this area. You may want to build your house and your garage right next to each other with your garage doors facing the front of the property. You would like your driveway to be leading up to your garage in the front as well. In certain subdivisions, there are covenants that will not allow you to build your garage with your doors facing the front, only to the side of your property. So having these garage doors facing the side of your property makes you have to rearrange the way your driveway is going to sit on your property and also could affect where you move your house in relation to your buildable area. So make sure you check out the covenants of your subdivision in case a stipulation like this does exist. Secondly, another thing to check out would be if your town or area has an architectural review board. So using this example that is being drawn here, we can see that the highlighted portion is our allowable buildable area. The architectural review board may come in and look at our neighbor's properties and houses and want our house to be built in proportion to those neighbor's houses. So you may have a neighbor on the sides of your house and in the back and even though you have a certain size of an allowable buildable area found by your zoning, the architectural review board may only allow you to build in a fraction of the size of your allowable buildable area to keep it in proportion with the neighbor's houses. So this is another important factor to consider if you in fact have an architectural review board because they may say your buildable area is actually smaller because it needs to be in proportion to your neighbor's houses. In conclusion of the Home Architect Zoning Series, I know that some of the things we have discussed can get a little confusing. With that being said, do not hesitate to contact your local architect with questions regarding your property and how zoning relates to it. Now that concludes our Home Architect Zoning Series. To check out the previous videos on zoning, check it out at peterpodless.com. Until next time, this is Peter Podless Architect. Have a great week.